morning guys um, car intro again as usual um, so today's my day off I usually get Wednesday Thursday off um, I just want to show you guys what I do on my Wednesday uh, so typically what I do on the first thing in the morning is I go to the post office and deliver all my products but today's something different so today first of all I'm going to do office works to get a big ass whiteboard um, and then after that I'm on the way actually last night Paul messaged me he called me yesterday he's an attack by the way Paul's from Mel Manor you guys want to meet him later on today um, he rang me last night and said hey Tack I got a customer here he wants one of your bracelets I was like okay cool he wants this particular bracelet called Umigami which is a god of ocean that's the name of the bracelet and he's a sailor Apparently he owns a yacht and he travels around the world or something. And then he's leaving 4 p.m. today. So after office works, I got his bracelet. We want to deliver the bracelet for him. Um, and after that, I'm just going to my mum's. Go to gym, stuff like that. Super chill day. And then I'll go. It's I would love to show you guys what I do to keep my keep my mind positive. So bit of tips and stuff like that um, but yeah other than that that's it let's go man So I've just got a whiteboard now, but just, like literally just fit, it's super, super wide. Last time we got a Fimby, the bookshelf, that guy was super long, this guy is fat, so. We got him in, which is good. Now we are on the way to um, the port to do the bracelet, so I'm not gonna pronounce the place name because I can't pronounce it, it has a triple R, and I can't pronounce an R because I'm Asian. Now it's got Murray. Is it lock? Yeah. Yeah, Murray. There you go. Go <laughs> in there now. Use the left two lanes to take exit 102 for Alright, so I just delivered a bracelet. Thank you, Demita, for purchasing my bracelet. Um, so yeah, he purchased he purchased one of the bracelets last night uh, at the Mel Manor. Uh, the, the bracelet he purchased, the name was Umigami, which is translating in like a god of an ocean in Japan. Um, it's kind of crazy because he's traveling around the world in his yacht and then he purchased one of the products. So thank you so much. Um, now we are on the way to Mel Mana. Um, we're just gonna do a bit of like a Father's Day set out in the store. And then after that, we'll just go to the post office and do the more products. But yeah, that's it. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. It's a beautiful day though, right? Right yeah, and what happened? Did you? Um, so, can they you went to reception? Yes. Can they you said, what, what is it on, on the wharf or something? Is it in the port? Like, what the port? Obviously, it's the port. So. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, you speak the reception lady. She said she'd take over. So, all right. So you didn't get to meet the guy. No, I didn't. Oh, was it okay. that chap? Yeah, young chap. Um, uh, Bulgaria or somewhere that he's from, I'm not sure, 100%. And uh, they've been traveling around the world and uh, he's with his parents and they're going back to do um, 
he's travelling and he's um, come back to work. Yeah. But he, he came in and he liked them. Yeah. And I said, well, have a look through the brochure. Yeah. And I think just the connection, I think the connection with the ocean and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which was, I thought it was so cool. It is. And then, because he rang me yesterday and he said to me, you know, um, yeah, you're delivering it after hours. And I said, yeah. I will. And he said, I will report it with blah, 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 and tell you the story. And um, I said, well, you might be lucky because you might be able to meet the designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, that would be cool because, I mean, basically, you're getting it from the horse's mouth. This is the man who made it, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. And he said, oh, that would be a really good thing. Yeah, it's gone and That's it's right. gone. Yeah, so fabulous. she she should take care of it. So All right, much. the best you can do, isn't it? There you go. Yeah. All right, so so you're doing your Wednesday. Sorry, you're doing your Wednesday thing, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. yes. Wednesday thing is my daily vlog type of stuff. Easy, you can use it. So if someone's interested, I think yeah. you can talk with I can work it out. You can leave it to me. Individual stone, you can leave it to me. Sounds good, sounds good. Right, it's got a little bit of a good It does. By the way, this book is awesome. I'm halfway through this book, halfway there. I recommend it. Um, I'm actually doing a giveaway on this book actually. It's that good. Can I get this one? Maybe? Cool. Alright, so. Came out from Mel Manor. Uh, I did a like a Father's Day setup in Mel Manor. It was awesome. Met Paul again, um, and then went to bookshop and then bought the Week Ten for the book challenge. It's from Kiyosaki. It's one of his latest book, I believe. It's, I think it's Fake Money or something. Yeah. Anyway, so the title of this video is about you know what I do to keep myself positive. Like what I do. I've got tip number one. I never stop learning. Like, never stop learning. What I believe is once you stop learning, then you don't get the new ideas, new challenges, and all that kind of stuff. This is what I believe as well. If you're stuck in the old way, that's gonna be your biggest liability in the long run. So what I'm saying is, guys, like, I'm not saying you should just read books, you know? Listen to podcasts if you like reading, if you have a patience. Watch YouTube videos talk to people, meet people, all that kind of stuff. Because like I said, once you're stuck in your old mindset, that's your biggest liability. Okay, so keep that flow going, get the new ideas, and meet people, all that kind of stuff, but never stop learning. So that's a tip number one. Anyway guys, I gotta keep going to post office and deliver the products. So, just went to the post office um, to do a delivery. Now, on the way to my mum's. Now, funny story. When my mum would move into this place that we're going right now, she's like, oh yeah, it's in front of a, you know, um, uh, like a river, not a river, like what do you call it, a canal. I was like, okay, let's go near the river. So that was Christmas last year, and I was driving there, and then all I can see is like, look at this, it's only a sugar cane. And I was like, what the heck, are you sure? Like, are you sure you next to like, you know, on the, on the river? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's like, look at this, only land, dry land out in sticks, just, I don't know what, I don't know why my mom picked this location, but you see, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see my little fluff. There's a little fluff. Come here. 
Show you a little bit. Do we look like? <laughs> <laughs> when we first bought him, like, oh yeah, he looks like a tack. He smells, he smells nice. He smells nice. Anyway, that's Teddy. He's a little fluff. <laughs> we should chuck him in water. Come here. We should chuck him in water. Favorite spot. Come here. He's so cute. Mm. He makes me. How old do you think he is? Look. I don't know. No idea. He's <laughs> like 15. He still acts like a puppy, but... Hey, Jenny. Hmm? He still acts like a puppy. Gonna be a shark or bait. Wrap you in there. Let's chuck in the water. Say hey. Come. Say hi, look, look. That should do. What does that mean? <laughs> what is that? Beauty. There you go. Nice. Uh, should be right. Alright, let's go to the gym now. I didn't go to the gym yesterday, so going to the gym. Get our shoulders or something. Um, that's it. Okay, so tip number two. Tip number one was, you know, shoot, never stop learning. That was tip number one. Now we move on to tip number two, and this is what I do with myself. I, what I do, I find small happiness in your daily life. Okay, the next thing, making sense? So small, finding small happiness in your daily life. So for example, last week, I was driving to work and all the green lights turned on. I never had a red light on the way to work. That made me so happy. It's only a small thing, but made me so happy. And two days after, I got free coffee from a lady on the way to work, you know? That made me happy. So try finding small things in a daily life. Because guess what I'm trying to say is that we take everything for granted. You know, we, we think that's normal because we, ex like, we expect something big to happen in our life. So we, sometimes we miss out on a small happiness because we focus on the big things too much, if that makes make sense. So what I do with myself, I train, what I, what I used to do, and I started this, uh, last year, it takes 21 days, okay, 21 days, that's roughly three weeks to make us a habit, okay? And it takes 90 days, that's roughly three months, okay, to make it as a lifestyle. So, what I did with myself, three weeks, I tried to find small happiness, okay, in a daily life for straight three weeks. Now, after three weeks, 
you'd be surprised you start picking those small things and making you happy, right? And after three weeks, you do that for 90 days. Okay, 90 days seems so long, but you'd be surprised if you smash out that three weeks, you can do that 90 days as well. Okay, so the tip number two is trying to find small happiness, okay, small happiness in the daily life. Just small things, small things, and build that up, build that up, build that up. Okay, that's what I do for myself. Cool. So, now, if you follow Gary Vee on social media, YouTube, you might know this, you might have heard this before. Um, he always talked about the ratio of you becoming human being, the ratio. And it is 400 trillion to one. That's a ratio of you becoming a human being or having a life. It's, it's, it's so crazy. It's not, it's not a billion, it's not a million, it's not a thousand, it's 400 trillion. So you, you, you're more likely, right, to get hit by lightning 14 times than you having a life right now. It's so crazy. So what I'm, trying to, what I'm trying to say is that just be grateful that you have a life, okay, and try to find small happiness in your day, even in a toxic environment. Try to find small happiness and try to do it for three weeks, okay. Try it for three weeks first, make us a habit, okay, and do that for 90 days, and that becomes a lifestyle, okay. So, guys, be grateful and try and find some more happiness. That's it. Last tip, guys, last tip, tip number three. Let's, let's go back, let's build a recap. So tip number one, you know, that was never stop learning, okay? Keep, keep learning. And tip number two, find a small happiness in daily activity. Okay, that was tip number two. And then don't take for granted. That was in there as well. Now we get into tip number three. Now for tip number three, I actually got a whiteboard out and I'll explain it. And then we're gonna cover two things. The first thing is alignment. So I'll explain alignment, what that is about. And then positive flow. Okay, what's positive flow? Okay, so I'll explain it one by one. All right, now tip number three. And the first one, I like to talk about alignment. Okay, now what is alignment? We use alignment for pretty much everything. Now, everything that exists in this world, they all have alignment, okay? So if you take a train tracks, if you look at train tracks, they have alignment. Buildings, building alignment, okay? Wheel alignment, that's very important, you know? Back, spinal alignment, okay? That's also important. And we do have alignment in our head as well, okay? Now, I like to talk about, well, how, what the alignment is going to affect you? Okay, well, if you look at train tracks, right? If the train track, track's not aligned, that's pretty much self explanatory that the train's going off the, off the rail. Okay? If you look at the, the back, if you walk in like this, hunched back, your spinal's not aligned, which means you're going to get sore back and you're going to get a sore headache. You're going to get a headache. It's a pretty common sense. So, we, that's, the alignment is super, super important. Okay, and I like to talk about the alignment in our head as well. Now you guys know the importance of alignment, okay, and how important that is. Now we're going to get to the positive flow. Now what takes positive flow? Now before I explain about positive flow, I'm just going to draw a lock, okay, it's just behind a camera. Um, a little stick figure. A little hair. Right, that's lock right there, okay. Now. I want you guys to imagine this. I want you guys to imagine that you're in the tap, okay? Or the hose, you know, hose for the water. Okay, I want you guys to imagine that you are in the tap, okay? So the water is running through you all the time, 24 seven, okay? 365 days a year. The water is flowing, okay? The positive flow is technically water, okay? The, what the positive flow is gonna bring you is the following, okay? I'll write it down. New challenges, new ideas, okay, new opportunity, opportunities. My handwriting's a bit messy, but be with me. All that good stuff, okay. Now, let's say, right, let's say you're at work 
and then you go to work. You hate this work, by the way. That's so you hate it. And you feel, uh, okay. And then this co-worker brings it, and says, hey, do this work. And you go, uh, I don't want to do it. Uh, I don't want to do that. The uh attitude, okay. U-G-H. The uh attitude is limiting your flow. Okay, so I'll write it down. Okay, so the flow is happening from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. You just, you just can't see it, but it's happening, okay? The flow is happening, but every single time you say, uh, it could be a relationship, guys. It could be a relationship. If you have an uh attitude towards your partner, okay, you're kinked, okay? So I'll write it down, kinked. So back again, you know, I was talking about imagine you're in a hose or you're in a, in a tap, right? Think about it. If you twist that tap or if you twist that hose, like if you knot it and if you put the water on, the, the flow will happen. The, the water will, will stop flowing. Same thing, guys. Same thing with the heads. If you have the uh, attitude towards anything, could be anything, relationship, work, anything, you are kinked. You're limiting yourself for that flow to happen. So all that good stuff is limited immediately because you feel, uh, okay, does that make sense? That's what I mean by positive flow and you keep the alignment nice and straight. Okay, so you can bring all these good ideas and all the goodies. All right, so a bit of recap for tip number three, okay? So we went through alignment and we talked about the positive flow, okay? The alignment, how important that is. Okay, you gotta keep it, have a clear, aligned, nice and straight all the time so the positive flow will happen, okay? So, alignment, nice and straight, okay? So the positive flow will run through, okay? So you get all the new ideas, new opportunities we talked about, okay? All that good stuff will start to run through you, okay? That's tip number three, okay? So, alignment, positive flow, done. Recap, recap. So first step was keep learning guys, okay? Even myself, I uh, always read books or something, YouTube videos, watch YouTube videos, podcasts, meet people, all that kind of stuff, okay? To get that new ideas flowing, okay? Like I said earlier, if you're stuck in your old ways, that's gonna be your biggest liabilities in the long run, okay? So keep learning, that's tip number one. Tip number two, okay, gratitude. Okay, make a habit, okay? Be grateful, guys. Find small happiness, even with the tough times. Toughest times, it's tough, it's tough. I've been through, I've been through. Trying to find small happiness in the tough times, it takes a lot of mental strength, but you guys can get through this. So, what I said, 21 days, okay? I'll write it down. 21 days to make it a habit slash 90 days, that's three months roughly, three months, to make it a lifetime, okay? So that's tip number two. Find your small happiness in your daily activity. Do that for three weeks first, make it a habit, and do that for a lifetime, okay? That's what I do every single time. Number three, the positive flow, okay? We talked about alignment earlier, and we're talking about the how the alignment is so important so the positive flow will happen, okay? Like I said, you and I, we're all equal, okay? You have an equal amount of opportunities, okay? So keep it positive, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Ciao.